practically doing selenium id okay okay suppose say um, i asked you people to test the facebook page for me okay so there is a login page for facebook okay and in the login page obviously there would be a username okay since this is for facebook the name of the application would be coming up okay then after that there is a username text box then there is a password text box okay and then there is a sign in button now if i ask you to execute or you can say that if i ask you to check that whether the sign in button is working properly or not how are you going to check it yes we all have done the manual testing right so if i ask you to check that whether the sign in button is functioning properly or not how are you going to test it Okay, you are going to write down the test cases wherein you are going to put the valid username, valid password. Okay, and then clicking. Okay, then with the invalid also. Okay. Okay. So basically, what you are going to do, if I ask you, you are going to yes, correct, Kavita. So you are going to write down the steps. okay if you don't have the application ready with you okay and if you have the srs document the requirement document with you so what you are going to do you are going to write down the steps that enter the username okay in username text box Okay, so this would be your first step. Then after that, you are going to write down that. You have to enter the password in the password text box, and the third step would be click on sign in button. Okay, now. when you are actually executing it okay if you have this application ready with you okay when you are actually executing it how are you going to find out that where is that username text box or where is that username field okay and obviously there would be the uh, input data also that you have to enter so can anyone tell me how are you going to find out that where is that username text box wherein you have to put the username okay and where is the password text box wherein you have to put the password and moreover where is that sign in button on to which you have to click so how are you going to find out no i have this <laughs> application with me okay and this page is opened suppose say okay now i have these steps with me then how am i going to identify that what is the username text box what is the password text box how are you going to identify
Okay, Salim. Tasneem, you are not able to hear me. What about others? Are you all able to hear me clearly? Okay, now you can hear me. Okay. Okay, so I am asking that. Okay, Prasad, you are saying that it will be in design documents. No, see, if this Facebook page is open in front of me, okay, and I have the steps with me, I know that I have to enter the username in the username text box. I have to enter the password in the te password text box, and then I need to click on the sign in button. But how can I identify that? Suppose, like in the username text box, I need to give the username as a. Mm, Say Vidya. Okay, and password is A B C D. Okay, now how am I going to identify that? What is that username text box? Whether it is this one or whether it is this one, wherein I need to enter the uh, Vidya or where I need to enter the A B C D. How are you going to identify that? Correct Samatha. You will see the field names. Right? You are going to look for the username text box or you are going to look for the username label. That where that username label is present. Okay, this username label is present over here. Okay, so the text box is here. So I need to enter the uh, data that is Vidya over here then the password text box label is here and the password text box is here so I need to enter ABCD over here and then you are going to look for the sign in button okay so your help your eyes will help you to identify what all are the different objects that you are looking for right or wrong won't your eyes help you to identify that where you need to enter the data if you are manually executing it. Correct? Yes. So over here, while actually executing it, our eyes are playing the main role. Okay. Our eyes and our hands. How hands? Because we need to enter the data. Okay. And for entering the data, we need our hands. Okay. So, our eyes and hands are the two important things which are playing the main role, main role wherein we need to find out that where the text box is present, where we need to enter the data and what is the data that we need to enter. Okay. Or in more technical form if I say, I would say that our eyes are helping us out to find out the objects. See these are known as the objects. Okay. In any of the application or uh, for any of the application, these are not uh, some text boxes or something. Okay, so these are the objects. So for identifying the objects manually if you are executing it or manually if you are looking for the objects, so your eyes will help you out <coughs> to look for that object. But how will a tool identify these objects? Because tool does not have any of the eyes, right? So how can it look into the things? It can look into the application and see, okay, I have to enter the username over here. I have to enter the password over here. How is it going to identify that where the text box is, where, what things needs to be entered? Okay, Samatha, you are saying with the help of the image, but username which is present of the which is present over here it does not have any image okay it is not having any image kirti that is correct that it is going to follow the steps that you have already recorded okay 
but if you have to generate the script on your own okay then over there you need to give that which is the part of the application that it should took up it should take up sorry okay in order to hit that particular button or in order to enter the data into the text box okay so for that you need to have the knowledge of the things that how it is identifying for that particular object okay so let me tell you see over here while manually doing the things if our eyes are helping us out okay so with the eyes with the help of these eyes we are referring to the objects okay we refer with the eyes and then we enter the things okay but if we are like doing any of the tool if we are using any of the automation tool so in automation tool also there is a mechanism okay it has its own way to identify the objects okay and you can say that mechanism or that uh, reference which, which it would be using to identify the objects which are present into the application that reference or that thing is known as the locators okay so basically what is what is happening over here is so there is a login sign in page of facebook okay when the automation script will be recorded also or when you are going to prepare your own automation script also if you have the recorded suppose say you have the recorded automation script okay so this automation script it is it would ask for some reference okay because to execute any of the automation script it needs to know that where it has to input which type of data and where is the button present or where is the link present it that needs to be clicked or that needs to be entered the data into okay so any of the automation script it would look for the reference point okay and over here in selenium those reference points are known as the locators okay so you need to pick up the location you can say or you need to pick up the locator of the username text box and put it over here in the automation script so that it would be able to it will be able to understand that where it needs to put the uh, id that is vidya okay then you need to take out the locator of this password text box and put it over here in the automation script so that when this automation script is executed it will be able uh, the selenium will be able to enter a b c d into that locator okay and third when it is when the script would be executing or uh, when it would be on the sign in button when it needs to click on the sign in button then over here in this script we need to take out the location or you can say the locator of the sign in button okay and put it over here so that it could refer to that locator and click on to the sign in button which is present okay because it does not has its own eyes from where it could read the things okay so over here the mechanism or you can say the reference point would be the locators in selenium it is known as locators okay and this whole thing wherein uh, either the manually doing the things either by manually doing the things or you can say by using the automation tool if you are identifying any of the objects so that mechanism is known as object identification mechanism okay wherein you need to identify the objects okay and over here in selenium to identify the objects we are using the locators okay we'll discuss in detail about the locators but for the initial phase 
this is the thing that you need to understand about the locators that what actually these locators are Kirti, if anything went wrong then we need to go into the script and uh, do the modifications okay we we'll see all to all those things okay how the things are to be rectified and what all are the things that needs to be done okay so are you all able to understand about what the locators is okay then um, let me just show you that how the selenium id looks like okay and uh, See, I told you that Selenium ID is supported only by Mozilla Firefox browser. Okay, so you can open ID Selenium ID only in Firefox. Okay, and I'll also tell you that how you need to download it. Since I have Selenium ID onto my system, so let me just show you first that how it looks like. Okay, so here it is. Now whatever things you are going to record, those things would be recorded over here in this particular area. Okay, so this is the area wherein the scripts, whenever you are going to record any of the things, so script would be coming up over here. Okay, Kathy, you are not able to hear me. What about others? Am I audible? Okay, you all are able to hear me. Somehow there is... Okay, Tara, you are guessing means... Is my voice breaking for you? Okay, you are good. Okay. Okay, then let, let me just drop a message to Kathy. Okay. So, whatever scripts, uh, sorry, whatever uh, steps you would be recording, okay, according to those steps, the script would be generated in this particular area. Okay, you are never going to record the scripts. You are going to write the scripts, yes. But recording would be done for the steps. So, mark the words correctly, okay. So, while recording the steps, whatever script would be produced, that would be coming up over here in this area and we need to discuss about this area but uh, um, we'll discuss about it after some time okay then after that all the test cases that would be present okay that would be coming up over here and from here you can uh, save the test cases that I'll show you and you can open any of the test case then after that you can all see that there is a red button present over here okay by default this means that it, this button is actually for recording okay and whenever you are going to open selenium id for the very first time okay if you are opening id in mozilla firefox for the first time then it would be in recording mode only 
Okay, can you see over here it is now recording? Click to stop the recording. Okay, and once you have recorded your steps, then you can again click on that button. So it would stop the recording now. But by default, it would be in the recording mode. Okay, these are some things that are important to know. Okay, let me just show you that how the things work over here. 